Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palettes. I have both of the shades here and these are for the holidays. Uh, so they're the new palettes uh, that Hourglass does every holiday and it's basically a bunch of powders that Hourglass offers. Some of them are new shades, uh, some of them might be repeating shades uh, from the past, but we'll go ahead and take a look and um, I'll let you know what my thoughts are on these and if they're worth picking up. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nas. If you like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps my channel a lot. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I picked up both of these palettes and one is supposed to be for darker skin tones and one is for lighter skin tones. And it has basically a bunch of curated Hourglass products in there. Um, they do this for every holiday and some of them might be new shades, uh, some of them might be repeating shades. and. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at each one and do some swatches. Uh, we'll go ahead and try it on the face, um, make some comparisons, and then we'll jump into my final thoughts on what I think about these. So first let's take a look at this uh, lighter palette. Uh, so this one's called Ambient Lighting Edit Universe. And it comes in this tin packaging, so they did change the packaging from last year. This one doesn't get any fingertips on there. I feel like the older packaging was a little bit more luxury. Um, this one feels a little bit cheaper to me. I don't know, some people really like it and some people really didn't like it, um, just based on some of the reviews I've seen. And so it has uh, this little section here, and it opens up like this. And then here's what the palette looks like. Um, so let me hold it this way. So here are all the shades that are in this lighter version. So you have um, you have your powder here. So this one's the finishing powder. It's uh, the infinity powder. And then you have this pinky shade, corally shade up top here. Uh, this one's a strobe blush. It's vibrant heat have your third shade here which is actually a bronzer it's called glistening bronze light and then the fourth one down here is another blush uh, so it's luminous rose and then the fifth shade is strobe powder supernatural strobe light and then let's take a look at the darker palette so again it has that swirly um, type of packaging type of um, pattern on there and I think I like the darker packaging a little bit more. Some people pointed out in their reviews that this kind of looks like bacon um, so once you kind of see that it's, it's hard to let that image go out of your head. So here is the darker palette again same packaging tin packaging um, and then when you open it up here is what the shades look like so again i think it is very beautiful uh, so let's go through these powders so the first one you have is the finishing powder again um, and this one's called radiant light and then the second one up here is a rose heat blush and i believe these are new shades um, and then you have actually going down and then you have third one here which is a bronzer so it's radiant bronze light and then the fourth one is a coral blush and then fifth which is over here is a strobe powder solar strobe light again i think the shades are beautiful i really like this kind of color story and what's nice about these palettes is that you can really travel with these um, and you kind of have everything you need in one palette hold these side by side just to make a quick comparison this is what both of the palettes look like side by side and i know that there's a lot of comments in the past with hourglass not being very inclusive um, in terms of shade range and really um, appealing to darker skin tones uh, but i kind of feel like these are not that different i mean i feel like the bronzer is still kind of the same um, and then maybe your powder is a little bit darker, but I feel like it's not that drastic of a difference between the two. It's just my first impression of looking at both the palettes side by side, but we'll go ahead and do some swatches to really be able to tell uh, what the difference is like. I want to go ahead and put it to the test um, using it on my face. So I'm going to use this side of my face for the lighter palette. Keep in mind, I do have a medium skin tone, so we'll go ahead and see if 
Um, this really works for my skin tone and hopefully it gives you guys an idea of what it might look like on your skin. And right now I just have foundation on. Um, I have concealer, but I set my concealer, but I did not set rest on my face. So first I want to go ahead and use this finishing powder here, the Infinity Powder. I know that there was a lot of people who really didn't like this powder um, when it first came out. I believe it was last year when it came out and I never tried it. We'll kind of see what it's like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start on my T-zone. Now I am using the Hourglass brush. Alright, so here's what it's looking like so far. I see a lot of little glitter particles. I don't know if it's really coming through from the camera, but I don't know how I feel about that powder. It feels like it didn't really do anything except to add some glitter on my face. So, hmm. Anyway, let's go ahead and use this bronzer right here. If my face needs bronzer for sure, so just taking that up here. Okay, so the bronzer is definitely showing up. And it is really pretty. And I want to put some on the temple here. Okay. So that is looking really pretty. I want to go ahead and use this more of a muted blush color here. Again, taking it on my hourglass brush and I'm going to set that kind of on the outer portion. Okay, so that blush looks really pretty as well. Not as impactful, but it is showing up. So I just wiped my brush and I'm going to go ahead and use that more of a corally blush shade right here now to put that more on the inner of my cheeks. Ooh, that is pigmented, okay. It's not what I expected after that other blush. Okay, we're looking very pink now. We're looking very pink. I'm trying to move that a little bit. Okay, I do like that shade a lot and that was very pigmented. Um, now one thing I am noticing, you definitely see little glitter particles um, kind of all over the face. It might have been that Infinity Powder we used in the beginning, but I definitely am seeing a lot of glitter and kind of don't like that. Okay, so the blush is really pretty. Um, I definitely like this corally shade a little bit more. Um, it gives a little bit more pinch to the cheeks. And now let's go ahead and try this uh, highlighter right here. And I'm just going to place it right here on the higher point. Okay, that is wow. Definitely a metallic highlighter. I feel like if you like more of a subtle highlight, you're probably not going to like this. It is very much out there. Okay. All right, so now let's test out this darker palette, the unlocked version. And again, I'm going to start using this first powder right here, the finishing powder, Radiant Light. Um, which I think this is one of the existing shades in our glasses, other palettes. We have the other finishing powders. You probably have this one. This one almost looks like it doesn't have any of the glitter particles the other Infinity palette had. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm using a new brush. Uh, this is a clean one. I think this is from Luxie. It's 520. And going to place it in my T-zone forever and just kind of buff it into the skin. 
and take a little bit more put it on the forehead. Yes, I like this one so much better. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but it just doesn't have doesn't have glitter. So I am a fan of that powder. So let's go ahead and jump into the bronzer right here. And this one is called Radiant Bronze Light. I think this is one of the existing shades as well. So just taking that again on a clean Luxie brush and this one is 522. And just going to place that here. Taking a little bit more. I could use some building up. On the temple. So I think this bronzer is darker compared to the one in the lighter palette, but I don't think there's that drastic of a difference. So that kind of tells me that they didn't do a very good job. It really could have been a tone or two darker. I don't think this is gonna work for everybody. Even for me, I really could use some building up and I just can see somebody who is you know, darker than my skin tone, really struggling to make this one work for them. All right, so let's go ahead and use this darker blush shade here. I did wet my brush that I used earlier, and I am just going to place this one again kind of on the higher um, outer portion of my cheek. Oh, this one is so pretty guys I definitely feel like there's less shine to this palette compared to the lighter palette but it is still shiny and it's still beautiful but it's just for some reason this side to me looks a bit more shiny with the blushes um, now I know I didn't put highlighter here yet but even without the highlighter just the blushes look a little bit more more shine to them so let's take a look at this next blush here and this one is the coral flush i can definitely see the coral in there and i am going to take that and i'm going to place it in the front of the cheek just kind of pop in the cheek there Let's move on to the highlighter here. I'm excited to use this one. Uh, this one's called Solar Strobe Light. I think that's a new shade. Definitely is darker than the one on the lighter shade. So we'll, we'll see how that works out for us. That is very pretty. I feel like the lighter didn't work that well for my skin tone, it, it almost looks a bit ashy. I don't know if you can tell, but this one matches my skin perfectly. I mean, look at that. On this side, you can kind of tell a stripe of highlight because of the difference in the tone on my skin. But then this one kind of matches my skin really well. All right, guys, so this is what um, my face is looking like after trying both of the powders. Again, this side, I have the lighter version. And then on this side, I have the unlocked, which is uh, the darker palette. So for me, I definitely think the darker palette worked out a lot better. Um, now I know the blush shades, you can't tell a lot of the difference. Um, for the lighter palette, it had more of a punch uh, on the blushes, but I do like the blushes on the darker palette. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches comparing the two palettes, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right, so let's start the swatches uh, with the lighter palette. So the first one is the Infinity Powder. Right there. And then the strobe blush in vibrant heat. So there it is. We have the blush in luminous rose. So this one doesn't really show up that much. I'm gonna go ahead with the second swatch. 
So this one doesn't really show up much. Um, I used a second swatch, but again, it's kind of like matching with my skin tone. Glistening bronze light bronzer right here. Again, it's kind of matching with my skin tone. Um, that's why I had to build it up a little bit. And then we have the highlighter, Supernatural highlighter right there. So again, these aren't showing up that great, but you can see them on my face. So it might be that my arm is a little bit darker tone than my face. Um, so just take that with a grain of salt. Sometimes swatches are different uh, versus when they're applied with a blush onto the face. So um, I just want to swatch to show you guys the differences between the two palettes. Let's swatch this one. So the first one is the finishing powder in Radiant Light. Here that is. The Rose Heat Blush right there. And then we have the Coral Blush right there. So this one's called Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. So here's the bronzer. And the highlighter, which I really liked, is the Strobe Light, the Solar Strobe Light. Look at that. That's probably my favorite thing out of this palette is that highlighter, guys. All right, let's jump into my final thoughts. Now these palettes, I don't think I mentioned yet, is $80. So that's hourglass price, right? They're, they're always around that range. And you do get quite a bit of product here. You get to try all the different powders and it's just nice that everything's compact into one palette that you can travel easily with. Now the downside is that if you are a collector, um, you might have some of these shades already. They're not all new shades. Um, but again, it's nice that they're all in one. So my thought is that I get it on sale. Uh, wait for Sephora sale. I think now these are in Ulta as well, so you can use your points. Just don't know if I'd pay full price for these, only because I have other Hourglass products. Um, now I did purchase these to review, and I do like the powders. Don't think that they're worth $80. Especially if you have these shades, definitely wait for sale. Um, if you don't and you wanna try Hourglass, and you like more of a lip from within uh, kind of glow, then I think these palettes are great. Um, I just don't know how I feel about the light one. I don't think that there is a lot that I would get a use out of uh, from the light palette because I did not like this Infinity Powder. Um, this blush did not show up a lot on my skin. I like this blush. Um, that really gave me a punch. Uh, but again, it's just this one blush out of the entire palette, which um, the bronzer was okay, but it took some building up. And then the highlighter kind of seemed like it left a little bit of a stripey effect on my skin. It didn't match my skin tone really well. I would pass on the light palette if you are around my skin tone and go for the darker palette. If you have lighter skin tone, um, just be aware that you might not enjoy this Infinity Powder. Um, so just know that uh, there's a lot of people that don't enjoy it, but then there's some people that might. So you can give it a try if you like all the other shades in here. That's my thought on the lighter palette. Now the darker palette I do think I will get a good use out of um, because I like this powder. It doesn't give me any glitters on my face and it kind of gives me a lit from within youthful type of look and I really like that. Um, and I really like both of these blushes. I think this plummy kind of shade is great for winter when I want more of the like I was just in the snow in the cold and now I'm inside and my cheeks got all red uh, kind of looks. And I like this coral shade as well. Highlight is probably my favorite out of this entire palette. It just matched my skin tone really well and just gave me a really nice highlight without looking stripey at all. I think this is a new shade, which means that it's only available in this palette right now. I don't have their highlighter palette, but I do think this might be a new one. And the bronzer was okay. Um, it did work for my skin tone, but again, I could see somebody who is darker skin tone than me that the bronzer might not work for. So did they do a good job? I don't think they did. I could see they're trying, but I think we could have used maybe a third palette here or we could have made this one a little bit darker. All right guys, so that is my review on the new Hourglass palettes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below if you are planning to pick these up or if you already did and what your thoughts are. I'm always interested to see what you guys think as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.